This is going to be the hardest video I've ever had to make. I'm really sorry to tell everybody this, but my brother, my very good friend, Jeff DeProsperis, is at peace now. On Sunday morning, surrounded by his family, Jeff passed away. I'm absolutely heartbroken about this. I've been crying for a couple days now. I just want to provide everyone a quick update. There'll be larger updates to follow. Jeff was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer. He was told he was inoperable, incurable. They didn't give him any hope. And they said, Jeff, you have a couple months. That's what they told him, a couple months left to live. That was over 30 months ago. Jeff thrived for 30 months. He credits that to two things. Number one, his diet, nutrition. He fixed his metabolic health through a proper human diet, a carnivore diet. Number two was fasting. Jeff thrived and lived his life to the fullest more than I've ever seen anyone do. He was like the Energizer Bunny. We went to film him last year and Adam and I could not keep up with Jeff. He was volunteering, coaching still. He was going to the gym taking his two boys who are his best friends to soccer practice, basketball practice, doing cold plunges, all sorts of incredible stuff. Jeff has become a very, very close friend of mine over the course of this last year. We filmed him last year for our documentary, Healing Humanity. He is a huge part of our documentary and his words and his story that are in that documentary that everyone will eventually see People are going to ask, the documentary is supposed to come out the middle of next year where you can see Jeff's full story in the documentary. I believe Jeff's words in that documentary will inspire millions of people. I have recently been working on a compilation video of all the videos Jeff did to tell his story as a tribute to Jeff. And one of the most remarkable things with that video is the amount of times Jeff said, I just want to help people. I'm doing this to help people. I have stage four inoperable, incurable cancer. I should be focused on myself, but I want to help people. I want to give people hope because what he was doing, he was a trailblazer. It was incredible. Anyone else in Jeff's position would have passed a long time ago and they would have suffered. They would have suffered through chemotherapy, through fatigue and sickness and throwing up weakness. Jeff was the opposite of that. He was absolutely thriving. He said he felt like he was 20 years old. His depression went away. His energy was through the roof. It's my job now and it's my honor to make sure that Jeff's story is told right, to carry on his legacy, to honor the work that he did. And I'm going to do that through our documentary and I'm going to do that through videos and I'm going to do that any way I can. I was very fortunate and blessed to get to spend a few days with Jeff over the last couple days. I heard that he had taken a turn for the worst and I flew out to Canada and I'm so thankful to Dwight Garlow, Jeff's best friend, and to Jeff's amazing wife and family, his wife Martha, his boys, Peter and Dante. Uh, that allowed me to go up there and visit with Jeff. I got to hug Jeff. I told him I loved him. I showed him some clips from the documentary. And I, I think I put a little bit of smile on his face, gave him a little bit of joy. Uh, but he was suffering and he was going through a lot at that time. I want to say about Jeff's wife, Martha, you are absolutely amazing. You're doing a wonderful, amazing job. You're being so strong for your boys. You're being a rock for your boys. You were being so strong for Jeff, caring for Jeff while he's going through all of this. It's incredible what you did, Martha. And I'm here to support you forever. You have my loyalty. You have my friendship forever. Call me anytime. I will do anything for you. I am heading back to Canada. I just returned yesterday and I'm thankful, grateful, blessed that I get to head back there uh, Brantford, Ontario, Canada on Friday is the viewing and Saturday is the service, the funeral service for Jeff to Prosperous. I, I can't believe I'm even saying those words. If you want to attend in your local, 
please email me, homesteadhow at gmail.com, and I will relay the information. Please respect the family's privacy. I don't want a whole bunch of people commenting and asking questions and what about this and what about that? None of that. None of that. I'm sorry for the people that were worried about Jeff and they were praying for Jeff. Jeff would go quiet from time to time over the course of the last year. And when Jeff went quiet, I always knew that mean that Jeff was focusing 100% on his family and on healing himself. And I didn't want to be a distraction to that. You got to understand people that are watching this, your heart is amazing and your prayers for Jeff are so appreciated. But there were times when he was just getting dozens and dozens of messages, if not hundreds of messages. How you doing, Jeff? How's it going today? How are things going now? And when you're going through stage four cancer, that's too much. When you're not going through stage four cancer, that's too much. So he was uh, he was shut down there for a while. He wasn't even talking or texting to me. It was a surprise for him that I went to visit him. If you want to honor Jeff and you want to help Jeff's family, please, please, please. His wife, Martha, has set up a GoFundMe. Jeff's medical bills were through the roof. And they really added up at the end there as he was suffering. His treatment, his regimen, the costs were just going crazy. I don't want Jeff's wife to worry about this. I want to carry on Jeff's legacy. And so if you appreciate what Jeff DeProsperous did and all of the videos, if they gave you hope, if they put a smile on your face, please donate to Jeff's GoFundMe. I will be personally donating in an upcoming video we're going to be doing $1,000 of my own money as well. And Martha and the boys have my support forever. Anything I can do for you anytime. If you want to honor Jeff and you want to do something, be the best person you can be. That is what Jeff DeProsperous was. I don't know a kinder, nicer person in the entire world. What is the meaning of life? A lot of people watching this, people have different beliefs. People can believe what they want to believe. I'm going to tell you what I believe. I believe the meaning of life is love. It's to spread love. It's to love one another. It's to spread kindness. It's to help other people. And there's not a single human being on earth that embodied that better than Jeff DeProsperous. And I truly mean that. I'm re-watching the videos that I did with him. Every single video, I just want to help people. I just want to give people hope. When you're diagnosed with stage four cancer, or not even cancer, type two diabetes, heart disease, depression, anxiety, the standard of care in the world right now will never give you hope. Good luck if they give you a plan as well. And Jeff gave so many people a plan. He gave them hope. He gave them something to look forward to, something to work on, rather than you're just a fluke and there's nothing you can do about it. The standard of care, the only thing they're gonna give you Cookies, Ensure, and the most expensive medications in the world that are temporary band-aids in most cases. Never treating the root cause of the problem. If you want to honor Jeff, the best thing you can do is be the best version of yourself and live your life to its fullest potential. Do not, and this isn't something Jeff said, by the way. This is something I'm saying. This is something that I've thought about with Jeff that's frankly made me very mad and upset on behalf of Jeff, but Jeff was too nice, kind, and sweet to ever be upset about something like this. But I get people telling me, I can't do a proper human diet. I just like my Twinkies and my Coke and my cereal and my junk food too much. To those people, I say, shame on you. It is a miracle that you are alive and you're gonna squander your body. You do that, you're eating highly inflammatory foods. You have chronic systemic inflammation from those foods for weeks and weeks, years and years, decades and decades, and you're gonna end up with cancer. You're gonna end up with heart disease, you're gonna end up with depression. You are squandering an able body. And there's other people in the world that would give anything for an able body. If you wanna honor Jeff and you wanna do something, be the best human being you can be. Help other people like Jeff helped other people. Give other people hope. Give other people unconditional love. I don't care if it's a homeless person on the side of the world, on the side of the road. Give them your unconditional love. Give them your kindness. And as Bill Knott says at the end of every video, be kind to one another. The last thing I'll say is this. 
This is very sad. There's everyone out there is going to be crying. I've been crying for three days now. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. And I'm going to quote Jeff DeProspers right here. When we filmed him for the documentary, he was coaching basketball. His son Peter was playing that day and they were doing cuts on the basketball team. So several of these kids had to be cut. And that's a very hard thing for these kids. And Jeff said to them, what do I tell you guys? What do I tell you? You can be sad for a minute. It's okay. Be sad for a minute. And then you go back to work and you start working again and you start fighting again. And I think that's what Jeff would say to us. Jeff doesn't want us all to be sad. He wants us to get back to work. And what does that work entail? It entails being the best human being you can be, being the best, the best version of yourself you can be, being kind to other, helping other people like Jeff did. I think that's what he would want each and every one of us to do. I'll also say I am thankful, grateful, and blessed for every second I got to spend with Jeff to Prosperous. There's a lot of people when someone dies, they yell at God and they say, why did you take that person from me? Why did you do that to me? Why, why, why? I'm not going to do that. Rather, I am going to thank God for every single beautiful moment that I was privileged to spend with Jeff to Prosperous. And I think that's what Jeff would want us to do as well. Be thankful, be grateful, be blessed, have gratitude, be positive. The other thing that I can be positive about is knowing that my brother, my friend, Jeff, is at peace now. He was suffering there near the end. He never gave up hope. He never gave up hope. He was fighting till the end. He fought a better battle than anyone would given his diagnosis. Eight billion people on this planet, I'd bet my life on it. Nobody would have done a better job. Nobody would have been a stronger fighter, a better competitor against their cancer than Jeff DeProsperous was. That man did nearly 50 rounds of chemotherapy while he was thriving and volunteering his time and doing YouTube videos and spending time with his sons and his wife. And simultaneously, while doing nearly 50 rounds of chemotherapy, he was doing 50 five-day water-only fasts. And on top of that, he did longer fasts than that, added in on top of it. You couldn't have done a better job than Jeff did. And the entire time he was doing that job, he was told you have months left to live, a couple of months, maybe two or three months you have to live. He thrived for 30 months, far, far, far beyond any other human being would have. And he didn't just live. Most people with that diagnosis and that level of cancer, this was a serious disease that Jeff had. Most people in that position would have been suffering the chemotherapy. They would have been fatigued, they would have been sick, they would have been throwing up, and they would have been laying in bed the entire time. Jeff was doing the exact opposite of that. He was volunteering his time, he was running, he was exercising. He was spending time with his kids, he was going to every single uh, sports practice that the boys had. Jeff was absolutely incredible. There's going to be more to come with Jeff. Please, 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 let's support Jeff through this GoFundMe. The medical bills have gone through the roof. This is a little thing that all of us can do. Even if you can only afford a dollar, $10, $100, I'm going to personally be donating $1,000. I'm also working on this tribute video for Jeff. I've spent about 12 hours on it. I'm going to spend another 12 on it. I'm compiling about 30 videos of Jeff. They're each about an hour long, 30 hours worth of footage. I'm going to condense it down into Jeff's story to honor Jeff. And I'll be releasing that in maybe a week or two. And then I want to do a live stream with all of Jeff's friends and doctors that Jeff looked up to that were his heroes, like Dr. Chafee and Dr. Kiltz and Jeff DeProsperous. I'm going to end the video on uh, Dwight Garlow was Jeff DeProsperous' best friend. And I believe Jeff, Jeff's life was extended and improved and saved as he thrived 30 months later because of Dwight Garlow and Dwight telling him about a proper human diet and helping him with his regimen and supplements, helping him focus on the root cause. Dwight Carlo is an absolute legend. He has helped over 62 people in his community. He's become a good friend of mine as well. The world needs more Dwight Garlo. So I'm hoping to co-host this live stream we do about Jeff with all of Jeff's friends with Dwight Garlo and anyone else that wants to join. So the last thing I'll say is, I just want to repeat this huge shout out to Martha. Martha, I know you're watching this. 
You are amazing. You are incredible. You are not alone. You have my loyalty and friendship forever. Please call me at three in the morning if you need anything. Call Jen, call me. You got Dwight, you have Jeff, and you have so many friends. And you guys have done an absolutely incredible job with your two boys, Peter and Dante. They're young men now. Peter's 16. You are not alone, Martha. You have those boys. You're a rock for those boys. And you've been an absolute legend helping Jeff through these last couple days and being a rock and being so strong for your boys and so strong for everyone. You guys can be strong for each other now. You guys are a family. You've, you've built some resilient, amazing, intelligent, incredible young men. And I'm not saying that just to flatter you. That is the honest truth. I am so impressed by the job that you and Jeff did with those boys. And it's going to help you because you you have a tight family with those boys. So nothing but love to Martha, Peter, Dante, Dwight Garlow, and Jeff DeProsperous. He's with us right now. He's with us forever. Please, if you want to help, be the best person you can and donate to the GoFundMe. There will be a link in the description below. There will be more videos to come. Please share this video, get the word out. We also have our cancer petition where Jeff and I were trying to get a million signatures. We're at about 10,000. Let's do that for Jeff too. That petition will be linked in the description below. Go fund me, petition, share this video. Pray for Jeff, pray for Jeff's family. Thank you so much for watching.